What's going on guys, it's Jamie and welcome back to another video. Guys, a magical, magical time of year has come round again. No, I'm not talking about Christmas, I'm talking about Gymshark's Black Friday sale. It's actually come earlier than usual this year. The sale actually went live just last Friday and of course we were greeted with the usual stress and tension of trying to get everything that we wanted in this Gymshark sale. But actually, I was very, very lucky this year. Lucy was too. We actually managed to get everything that we wanted and get through the queue and check out without losing any items that we had in our basket which is always a positive guys because as we know that doesn't always happen with Gymshark sales because they're just so busy and so many people are trying to get things that they would like. As with last year guys this year the postage was really really good again. I actually got my main parcel my first order within like four or five days or something like that. It was really really good. That's the one that we're going to be opening today guys. I did actually go back on and make a second order which hasn't actually arrived yet which is a shame because I would like to have shown you that as well but it was only just one pair of shorts so it's not too much of a big deal but anyway guys I know you're eager to get into this video just as much as I am because this parcel has been sitting in the corner of the bedroom since like Tuesday afternoon it's now Saturday and I needed to wait until the weekend obviously to be able to film this vlog for you guys I can't actually remember every single thing that I bought I know there's five or six really nice items in here if you're excited to see what I got make Make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me before we get started guys i'd really really appreciate it and we're gonna hop straight into it so guys just as i remembered six brand new gymshark products to get into today there is absolutely no better feeling than a brand new gymshark order so we're gonna get straight into this one, guys. To keep it simple, guys, I'm gonna be starting at the top and working my way down. The first item here, guys, is the block pullover in the black and white colorways. As if I haven't got enough Gymshark hoodies, I thought I would order another one, guys. I actually got this one in an XL as well because I don't know if you're the same as me, but I really like a baggy, oversized hoodie. And this one is just really plain, really simple, just all black color with the white block logo on the chest area there. The good thing about this one as well is it is quite a thin material compared to some of the other hoodies I have, um, which means I can actually probably keep this on throughout like whole sessions in the gym. Again, you may be different, but in the winter, I think there's nothing better than keeping like an oversized hoodie on for a whole session. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm trying it on, it's not actually as oversized as I thought it would be or as it felt, um, but it's not fitted at all, you know, it's still quite baggy. Um, as I said, really nice thin material, so we're not gonna get really, really sweaty in this. Big open pocket on the stomach, white logo on the chest, as I said, and then two drawstrings, obviously, to pull that hood in. Of course, as always, guys, keeping that wardrobe color scheme nice and bright with this black color. I just don't think you can go wrong with a nice black hoodie, really. We keep it nice and simple, but yeah, very, very happy with that one, guys. Moving on, guys, and this is the bold short sleeve t-shirt in the black colorway. This one is actually really, really nice. Although when I ordered it, I didn't realize that the Gymshark logo here has got these sort of little lines going all across it. Hopefully you guys can see that in the video there. I thought it was just gonna be plain white, but don't get me wrong, it is still really, really nice. And another thing that is great about this is it has that really nice cut on the bottom of the t-shirt. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's got like the curved hem, bringing it around the front here, and then up at the sides, and then down again at the back. I really like my t-shirts long line and this cut is just absolutely perfect. Really nice and fitted up the top around the arms and chest and shoulders, but then down here getting a little bit baggier around the waist, which for me is absolutely perfect. I really like these lifestyle t-shirts. In terms of design guys, nothing else really to report on this one. Again, it is a really simple design, just all plain black with a really nice cut and a big bold Gymshark logo on the chest. No logos on the back, just a really clean and basic t-shirt, but one that is gonna be an absolute staple in my wardrobe. Next up guys is the Premium Legacy Tank. This is the Oat Beige colorway in a size large. I remember when this Premium Legacy stuff dropped, 
man, it will look so, so nice. I didn't actually pick anything up straight away, but saw it was an offer in the blackout sale. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna have to grab something from that. All right, so straight out of the bag, guys, I can tell that this material is just such high quality. I've got one of the normal legacy tanks, um, and that is one of my favorites, to be honest, but I can feel already that this material is a lot thicker and a lot better quality than the material used in the normal legacy. The colorway as well is really, really nice, this beige color. Thought I'd add a little bit of a pop to the gym wardrobe. The logo, guys, we've just got this big old school Gymshark legacy logo right in the middle of the chest here. That is about all there is in terms of logos on this one. The thing I'm liking about it already, guys, is that it's got a really nice wide chest scoop here. Um, something I have with like the thinner Gymshark, Gymshark stringers is that they don't actually cover my nipples, which, let's face it, is something that no one else wants to see on the gym floor. So these ones that come in a little bit wider are really, really comfortable for me. Nice low scoop underneath the arm here and then the back has got the sort of stringer effect with the narrow section in the middle. Really really like this colorway as well. I haven't really got any gym tops that are sort of this beigey color so this will be nice in the gym once they open back up again anyways. Again guys just want to reiterate how high quality this feels. Um, you can tell it's the premium legacy range because as I said that material is absolutely amazing. Really nice thickness to it, really smooth. Yeah, a great all-round addition. So we're gonna move on to the bottom items that I got with this order, guys. And first up, we have got a pair of the critical tracksuit bottoms. They're actually called critical pants. Um, and this is in the charcoal mild colorway. These are actually the exact same as these tracksuit bottoms that I have on at the minute. Um, and the reason I got another pair is because they are my absolute favorite Gymshark tracksuit bottoms. Being quite tall, as I said, it can be really difficult to find tracksuit bottoms that actually fit not only around the waist and the quads, but actually in length as well. And these critical ones are actually really, really perfect in all aspects. Couldn't remember what size I got the black ones in, so I've actually got a large and an XL, so whichever one is too small will be getting returned. So I'm gonna try each one on and see which is the best fit. So these are the large sized ones, guys. This is actually the size that I did order the old pair in. I thought I'd change it up, guys, and go for a gray pair this time around. Um, just so nice. The fit is absolutely perfect around my waist and my quads, but the length is really, really nice as well, which is just such a hard thing to try and get if you are a tall person. Got the really nice embroidered white Gymshark logo on the left quad. That is gonna do it in terms of logos on these tracksuit bottoms, guys, but they're really simple, really clean and effective. Nice drawstring around the waistband to tighten them up with. They're just an all-round, pretty perfect pair of tracksuit bottoms, as far as I'm concerned. I'm so happy with them, guys. Really glad to add another pair to the collection. On to the last proper item of this order, guys, and what I have on here is the Control Seamless Leggings, again, in that black colorway. Wow, is all I can say about these. I mean, as you know guys, I absolutely love wearing leggings in the gym, and every single pair I seem to get from Gymshark just seem to get better and better every single time. These are absolutely incredible. The material is so soft and so stretchy, guys. These are unbelievably comfortable. Getting leggings on is always just a pain in the ass. They can feel quite clingy sometimes, and it's just a bit of a struggle until they're on. These ones were not like that at all. I don't know whether it's because this material is sort of mesh-like up the quads here, but it's just such an ease getting them on. Nice Gymshark logo up on the left hip. That looks like it's gonna be reflective, but don't take my word for it. And then we've also got two more of those patches on the calves as well, and another small Gymshark logo on the right-hand calf. The design on these in general, guys, is just absolutely beautiful. It's got all these really nice patterns in the material around the hamstrings. These are a size XL, guys, and that is normally what I go for in the leggings. I mean, I can't speak for the ladies here, but for the men's, if you are gonna get some leggings, I would probably recommend going a size up. That's what I always do anyway, and they always seem to fit a lot nicer um, and not as tight and clingy than if you were to go true to size. So yeah, I would recommend going up a size on these guys, but all in all, an absolute 10 out of 10. Last but certainly not least, guys, the final item in this order is some classic Gymshark Crew socks. These things are so, so hard to get hold of 
at any normal time of the year. Rarely are they restocked on the Gymshark website and if they are, they always just seem to go so quickly. I absolutely love them. I've got loads of the white ones and of course, as they were restocked during the blackout, you know we had to get another few pairs. These are just an absolute classic, guys. Absolute staple and one of the comfiest socks I own. And that is gonna do it, guys. That is it for 2020's Gymshark blackout sale haul. As I said back at the start of the video, a really, really successful order this time round, guys, and I'm so happy with everything that I managed to get. Very, very rarely am I dissatisfied with anything from Gymshark, but to have an order where every single item is absolutely perfect is just so, so good, guys, and I can't wait to start wearing all of this stuff. That is gonna be it for this one, though, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's been a long time since I've done an unboxing or haul style video video so it was actually a lot of fun to shoot this one for you guys if you did enjoy it guys please make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me i would really really appreciate it and let me know down in the comment section below if you grabbed anything yourself from the gymshark sale i would love to hear all about it guys if you're new to the channel guys or if you just haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button for me for new videos every single week and i'll see you in the next one